Uh, blessings. Hope you guys are all doing good. I'm going to bring to you <clears throat> an experience that I had. <clears throat> uh, and with the uh, a lot of the disclosure that's been happening, I don't really feel too worried about disclosing this now. So I'm just going to kind of start my story and uh, and I want you guys to tell me something. Like, what do you think? What do you think about this? So it was 2010. <clears throat> I was working in Carbondale, uh, Illinois, Southern Illinois. I was going to the university at the time. And uh, I was working at Burger King, the one right across from the Walmart in Carbondale. It was rush hour. Uh, I don't remember what day, like of the week, but it was the beginning of rush hour. And uh, a lot of people were coming in. I was working at the uh, specialty sandwich line where you make like chicken sandwiches and mostly chicken sandwiches and like fish and all the other specialty stuff. It wasn't any of the burgers. Uh, so I was working over there. And so I was literally facing like this direction that I'm facing you. And the uh, the cashiers and the checkout line would be to my right, like this right here. And so I'm making sandwiches. And when you, when you make sandwiches and you're really in the groove, you kind of listen to what the people are ordering. You don't listen. You don't make it what they're telling you on your screens. You have screens that can tell you what to do, but you don't really listen to those. You kind of listen to the customers ordering. And so that you're a little bit ahead, you know, you know, you got a chicken or, you know, you got this or, you know, you got that. So you start this and you can continue doing this over here. You know, you have a multiple step line that you're doing. Uh, and so I hear the customer order uh, two chicken sandwiches, no mayonnaise. And so I drop the bread and then the cashier, whose name was Whitney, uh, she typed the order in as the customer was ordering it and uh, ordered it back over the microphone. You had to order it back over the microphone just to make sure everybody heard. When she did that, when she pushed the button on the microphone and began to speak, um, there was a couple things that happened that was really weird. One of the things is that all the electronics in the whole building went bonkers. Everybody's phone, all the TVs, all the alarms, all the fryers, the lights, everything went weird in all the electronics the fryers instead of going beep 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 they went beep 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 they're like everything was really really weird and whatever language she spoke it was a language but it was sounds that i've never heard an organic thing make i've never heard a human make this these sounds or this language <clears throat> and everybody in the building was immediately like, whoa, looked at Whitney, was like, what the heck was that? Wow. Everybody was really, really, what, what happened? And then Whitney, literally, no joke, she went, nothing happened. And she kind of like waved her hand. Like she went, she went, nothing happened like that. And then everybody just started like, like, uh, like, you know, when people are watching TV and they kind of just like, like, you know, like no one's there. Like they're watching TV and you can be like, yeah, did you see the Buffalo blah, 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 or whatever? And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw blah, 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 blah. And they're not really there. Not really. They're there, but not. Well, everybody was there. And I even thought, okay, so one of my friends was working there and he was a space cadet like me. Uh, I kind of consider myself a space cadet because I'm always into kind of fringe things like parapsychology. And even when I studied neurology, I was in, in to, a lot in epigenetics, which was a very new field at the time. It was a very like almost controversial field when I was going through school. Uh, and so I was always in fringe studies. I kind of consider myself a space cadet. But I so I thought Shimona, who was working there also, would, you know, kind of be like alert at this time but he wasn't he was he was back where uh they like cook bread or something there was like a bread station 
back in Burger King in the back end of it where they like cook bread for the for the uh, main meat line. He was back there, TV'd out, you know, and he was out. And I looked at everybody, and I looked at all the people, and I was like, holy moly. I mean, I looked at everybody's eyes, and they weren't just watching TV out. They were out TV'd out. Like, their eyes were, like, I looked right at Shimon, I said, Shimon. And he was, yeah, I swear, I, his, his eyes were open. He didn't. And I looked around, and everybody, man, it was like everybody, it was like something was just standing still. And then I looked at Whitney, and I said, I said to her, and I said it in my drill sergeant voice, I said it loud. I said it loud enough to you, if you were outside the building, you would hear somebody yell. And I called her something. And, I'm, I, and, 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 I, and I'll tell you later what, I'm not going to say now because I want you to kind of tell me what, what happened here. I don't want to put things in your head, right? And this is, this is like, I yelled at this person, at Whitney. I said, you're, yeah! and I, I said it loud. And she looked back at me, dude. And she did this. Like, I'm her. Okay, I'll be her. And she looked back at me. And she was. She looked back from her right shoulder. She looked back. She did this. She looked back. She goes. <laughs> and then went back. And then, man, I could have tell. I, you know, I was like, at that moment, I was like. Like, everything got. My, my hair was standing up. You know, I was really, really scared. I wanted to run up there and rip her skin off. I wanted to find out what the hell. I was really like terrified, but so scared that I couldn't move. And I was like, I was like, okay. And so right then, I set myself into uh, uh, developer mode. I, I put in developer mode right away, and I started to imprint as many memories as I could from that day. I was like, I was like, boom, 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 boom. I tried to remember everything. Okay, and then, uh, and then, um, and then things kind of went back to normal. Right, everything just kind of went back to normal, and I, like the 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 fryers started beeping again. Everything went went went, went beep, beep, beep 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 beep, and everything was like just went back to normal. And I want French fries and beep, beep, beep. and like nothing happened, like nothing happened. Um, and so I was like, oh, oh man, I was like, holy holy shit, you know, like oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What in the world? And so I'm just, I was just making sandwiches. Like, I was like, I was like, okay. I was like, just imprinting memories. I was like, all I did was just like focused on the movements that I had to make with my body and just imprinted memories. I was just like, I got to remember every little detail of everything that happened here. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like it, 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 it was a man and a woman as a customer. They had, they had two or three children with them. I can't remember exactly, but I remember a lot of, a lot of the details from this whole day. Like I, I you know, I, I really went in. And uh so then like right as soon as the uh you know, I was thinking a lot of thoughts at this time, you know, I mean I was really kind of like almost in in a really bad mental state. <laughs> I was I was starting to think I might need to get like uh you know, something might be wrong with my brain. Or that I, an unexplainable experience happened. You know, it was like either something is wrong with my brain or something just happened. Like, whoa. Okay, so as soon as the, we got like a lull, you know, it was like an hour or whatever through the through the uh, rush hour. You know, we were in that middle of like run, lunch when there's tons of customers were coming in. And then as soon as it came to a lull, Whitney was just like, she just clocked out because I was watching her after that. I was just like, I was like, you know, watching making sandwiches, just like, what in the motherfucking with you? What the, what the hell are you? What are you? Oh my gosh! You know, I was just, just I wish I had. There's video, dude. There's video, and I tried. And there's, there isn't video. I mean, I tried to find it, but okay. There's a lot to this story. This, this story is where it began. Okay, and then after. After like this story kind of developed and, and I accepted some things, then uh, well, then I learned more and, and everybody else is going to learn more. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like people are starting to come out now, you know, it, it, it's uh, everybody's going to learn more eventually. I mean, within pretty much everybody that's alive now is going to see more, but in the next 25 years, uh, a lot's going to happen. And then it, 
I might get to see it. I don't know. My children will see it 75 years from now. For sure. That's when everybody's going to know. About 75 years. Uh, because this is there's there's phases to the process of introducing a species to well I mean I've already I've said the term since long ago I'm just not want to put things in people's minds you know I want to know what you're thinking and I guess it's it's stupid anymore I mean I, I'll just say it dude the Galactic Federation that stuff's real like I've known about it since 2010 you know early 2010 I've known um, not not thought not think not theory it's, it took a lot to accept it okay so um as soon as the end of uh as soon as it ended like the rush hour ended when he just clocked out she's like i'm leaving but a little bit just clocked out and ran she didn't ask or nothing and no one even said nothing i was like huh i wish i could just clock out and leave <laughs> whenever i want like that and not have anybody even question him. He's like, maybe I could. You know, I was like, I never really try to do that. You know, there's a lot you can kind of do with people when you kind of, you know, these aren't the droids you're looking for kind of thing at them. It's, it's you'd be surprised at the nonchalant approach to things, you know. Um, I've seen it play out. Uh, James Standard has seen it play out with me, has seen me do it to cops. Uh, cops were trying to take us down one time. And I was literally like, these, I, I didn't say these are the droids looking for, but I said, this, I said, this isn't the kind of guy you're looking for. <laughs> you can just let us go now. And they did, dude. Like, so you can do things with people, you know what I'm saying? There's things that I've done, but this event was beyond what I could ever imagine a single, it was just so much. Okay. So then it opened up, you know, that kind of opened up the vats. Like from then on, you know, there there became uh, a whole lot more. I'm gonna stop this video for now because <clears throat> I want I need to drink something. And uh, like really, this is just like the opening to a chapter. You know, I could talk for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours about what's happened, about the multiple experiences and when I move and there's I mean, you wouldn't believe uh, when you know, you know, and then you start seeing, you know, like, oh my gosh, like, how does everybody not know? I don't know. I don't know. Um, and one of the things, you know, like, why you? I've heard th this is, this is something that I think that I'll end it with this. Why you? That was one of the things that they told me why we're not ready is because that's what people say. And I didn't understand it then. And now I do. I understand it now. And they were, they're, they're right, man. I wasn't ready and I'm, but it's, you know, get ready. Try to get prepared, you know, for, you got to like be safe with yourself. You know, you got to feel that you're safe. And if you don't feel you're safe, like if this made you feel scared, then don't listen to it. Don't matter and don't believe it. Don't bring it into your world because it's making you scared. Uh, because that's not going to help anything get better, really, you know. And that's what it boils down to. It's not why me. It's like, why isn't everybody else? You know, why? It's because <clears throat> perception and the bubble of perception that we can put ourselves into with our own belief structures. It's, it's okay. Blessings.